It's important for the comic book companies to grab the attention of the young kids and get them into comics at an early age. If they don't, the comic book industry will die out with my generation of fanboys. Currently, about 90% of the books that are released are geared more towards the mature readers, although Marvel and DC both have children's lines for the younger audience. Another way to get new readers is through toys. Now, toys are a great way to get kids into comics, but as I have found out recently, Parents have to be careful about which toys they buy for their kids. Now one example would be this Joker. On the surface, this just looks like Joker when he goes on vacation. Reality is, this toy is from the Alan Moore story, The Killing Joke. In this tale, Joker shoots and paralyzes Barbara Gordon, then proceeds to strip her naked and take pictures. Now, don't worry though, he had a good reason for taking the pictures. He later used them to mentally torture her father, Commissioner Gordon, so that he could try to prove a point. The point I'm trying to make is don't buy that for your kid. Now, my second example comes from the House of Ideas Marvel Comics. Marvel has a great line of toys for kids called Superhero Squad. When you see these figures, you can't deny that they're made for kids, but you can deny that some of them might not be the best for your kids to be playing with. For example, Ultimate Giant Man. Now, Ultimate Giant Man comes from the hit series, The Ultimates. In Volume 1, not only does he smack around his girlfriend, the Wasp, he also tries to kill her with a can of Raid. The best part is, there's been at least three or four different costumes for Giant Man. Yet, the toy makers decided to use Ultimate Giant Man for their toy. Now, this brings us to our final example, which also comes from Marvel's Superhero Squad. This one doesn't take a lot of explaining as to why it's wrong for a child ages 3 and up to have this toy. Let me give you a few clues though. He's had three films, all rated R. His family was brutally gunned down by the mob, and he enjoys solving his problems with guns instead of words. Really Marvel? Really?